Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I know it's been a long time before I've posted a video. I've been extremely busy with school, work, um, yeah, just mainly those two things. And it's just been really hard to find time aside, especially when there's light outside to make a video. So yeah, it's just been really rough to find time. And I apologize to anyone that actually cares about my videos or that notices that I haven't been commenting on videos. Um, it's, like I said, it's just been really difficult. But as you can see from the title of today's video, I ended up messing up the bike. Um, completely my fault argumentatively. So I'll go ahead and get to the video and I'll show you guys what happened. All right guys, so I'm at the bike. And before I show you what happened, I'm going to put the blame on the trailer over there. So I was actually towing the bike from South Texas up here to Austin. And I'm pretty confident I strapped it down pretty well. But sure enough, I didn't. And it fell. Not just once. Not twice. But three times. So, here's the damage to the, let's get it to focus here, to the grip here, the throttle. As you can see, I don't have a mirror there anymore. The mirror is gone, it broke off. Um, what else happened? And the saddlebags got scratched up from the rope. Um, I think that's really all that occurred. Oh, and so when it initially fell, this part here ended up bending forward. And so it was hard to, it was just an awkward position for the, the brake lever. All right, so I know it wasn't the trailer's fault and it wasn't the bike's fault, it wasn't anyone else's fault, but mine. Um, I was pretty confident I was pretty confident I had strapped it down correctly I had even I had the bike in the wheel chalk I had it strapped down from the crash bars I had it strapped down from the back to prevent the back from hopping um, I even had the um, the handlebars like secured to the side of the trailer and it was pretty solid for a while the first time it fell, I had just left my house, and I will admit I did not strap it down well at all. Um, I just kind of quickly put it on and went. The second time I strapped it down, it was solid. So it was the front was compressed a little bit, um, the back was tightened down. Uh, it ended up lasting for a good hour and a half, two hours. Um, within an hour and a half, I felt the trailer kind of swaying as if. It was off balance. Um, pulled over and sure enough the bike had fallen. Fixed it or picked it up. Did the same exact thing. Uh, like strapped it down the same way. Made sure it was tight and solid. I got on there. The bike was straight. The steering wheel was straight. Or the handlebars were straight. The bike did not want to budge. I even sat on it without the kickstand. I was able to move. The trailer was like, you know, the suspension was moving but it was fine. Uh, traveled another three and a half hours and I want to say it made it three hours and right when I was about to get here I felt the trailer start swaying again with uneven weight distribution so it almost made it um, the second time when everything broke like I said it's the throttle and the right mirror nothing major I mean the scratches on the saddlebags can buff out uh, mirrors I'm gonna upgrade those to some drop down, you know, normal sports type, uh, type mirrors. And then I guess I'll just get a new throttle grip, but it's not really that big of an issue. Let's see if, see if it zooms in there or focuses there, but it's not too bad. But um, yeah, the only other thing that happened was the reservoir and the whole, the whole like controls had like rotated forward. Um, I just loosened it up, popped it back, tightened it down. Um, nothing major, but something that did suck, you know, when you open up your trailer and you just see your bike laying there sideways. It could have been a lot worse. Um, my fault, completely my fault. But anyways, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. I'm going to try to start 
you know, making more videos again. Sorry, sorry I've been extremely busy with school, work, and everything, but uh, I'll get to it. Y'all have a good day.